Good morning, Jay with Great Scott Audio Productions and Bitten by Books Book Bites. Uh, today we're going to do something kind of special, at least for me, uh, and hopefully for you. Terry Brooks has been writing for years and years and years. Uh, first book came out in 1977, The Sword of Shannara. Awesome, awesome book, and three more bo or two more books came on the heels of that, The Elf Stones of Shannara and then The Wish Song of Shannara. Finally, MTV has decided to create the Elf Stones as a television show. For the excitement factor, uh, if you guys watched the show Arrow, you'll know who Manu Bennett is. He has been cast as Alanon, one of the pivotal characters in this series. I'm going to go ahead and read from the Elf Stones today, not chapter one, a little bit further in where we get to meet Alanon for the first time in 50 years. It's a powerful scene. The book itself is extraordinarily action-packed. It is straight high fantasy, swords and sorcery, for those of you who aren't familiar with the series. If you are familiar with the series, well, come back with me to the Four Lands, and let's go see Alanon. Elven Prince. The voice came from out of nowhere, startling Ander so that he jumped away with, from it with a gasp. A shadow slipped from the shelter of pines that grew close against the walls of the Gardens of Life, darker than night about it. For an instant, Prince Ander stopped breathing altogether, freezing with indecision. Then, as he reached hurriedly for the short sword he wore belted at his waist, the shadow was upon him and lay a hand over his own, an iron grip holding back his arm. Peace, Ander Elicidil. The voice was soft but commanding. I am no enemy of yours. The shadowy form was that of a man, Ander saw now, a tall man, standing well over seven feet. Black robes were wrapped tightly about his spare, lean frame, and the hood of his traveling cloak was pulled close about his head, so that nothing of his face could be seen save for narrow eyes that shone like a cat's. Who are you? the elven prince managed finally. The other's hands lifted and drew back the folds of the hood to reveal the face within. It was craggy and lined, shadowed by a short black beard that framed a wide, unsmiling mouth, and by hair cut shoulder length. The cat's eyes, piercing and dark, stared out from a heavy brow that knit fiercely above that long, flat nose. Those eyes stared into Anders, and the elven prince found that he could not look away. Your father would know me, the big man whispered. I am Alanon. Anders stiffened, his face incredulous. Alanon! His head shook slowly. But, but Alanon is dead! There was sarcasm in the deep voice, and the eyes glinted once more. Do I appear to you to be dead, elven prince? No. No, oh, I can see. Anders' voice faltered. But it has been more than fifty years. He trailed off as the memories of his father's stories came back to him. The search for the sword of Shannara. The rescue of Eventine from the camp of, enemy, of the enemy armies. The battle of Tirsus. The defeat of the warlock lord at the hands of the little veilman Shay Onsford. Through it all, Alanon had been there, lending to the beleaguered people of the Four Lands his strength and wisdom. When it was finished and the warlock lord destroyed, Alanon had disappeared entirely. Shay Onsford, it was said, had been the last to see him. There were rumors afterward that Alanon had come to the Four Land at other times, in other places, but he had not come to the Westland and the Elves. None of them had ever expected to see him again. Still, where the druid was concerned, his father had often told him, one soon learned to expect the unexpected. Wanderer, historian, philosopher, and mystic, guardian of the races, the last of the ancient druids, the wise men of the new world. Alanon was said to have been all of these. But was this truly Alanon? The question whispered in Ander's mind. <clears throat> the big man stepped closer once more. 
Look closely at me, Elven Prince, he commanded. You will see that I speak the truth. Ander stared at the dark face, stared deep into the glittering black eyes, and suddenly the doubts were gone. There was no longer any question in his mind. The man who stood before him was Alanon. I want you to take me to see your father, Alanon was speaking again, his voice low and guarded. Choose a path little traveled. I wish to keep my coming a secret. Quickly now, before the centuries come. Ander did not stop to argue. With the druid following as closely as his own shadow, he slipped past the gardens of life and hurried toward the sea. Thank you again. Keep an eye out on Terry's feed on Facebook. Um, I think, if I remember right, there is a Shannara feed as well. But uh, And also Manu Bennett's uh, Facebook page. He does give little tidbits. Um, but the excitement is beyond belief for me. I have waited my whole life for this series to be shown, just as I waited for Lord of the Rings to be shown. <clears throat> um, next time, we're going to go visit with Pat Roth Rothfuss. Name of the Wind. <clears throat> um, this is epic stuff. So get ready for that. And then the following time, week, we're going to go uh, visit S.M. Sterling and a possible future for the Pacific Northwest and the rest of the world uh, with Dies the Fire, which is the first of the Change series. Thanks again. Have a good week.